Hi, in today's video, I am going to teach you how to find the square root of a non-perfect square in a very easy method. You know how to find the square root of any number by long division method. But here, I am going to teach you how to find the square root of a non-perfect square without using long division method, but in a simple way. What are non-perfect squares? 2, 3, 5, etc. You may be remembering what is the value of root 2. 1.414 etc. Root 3 1.7320 etc. But it is not possible to remember the square roots of all the non perfect squares. So, here a simple method to find the square root of a non perfect square. If A is any non perfect square, then we can find two integers B and C such that A is equal to B plus or minus C where b is always a perfect square and c is any integer. That means, if a is any non-perfect square, we can split a as the sum or difference of a perfect square and any other integer. Then, root of a is equal to root of b plus or minus c. And now the formula is, root of b plus or minus c divided by 2 root b. It is very simple. I will explain an example. Eleven is a non-perfect square. We are going to find the square root of eleven by using this method. For that, we have to split eleven as a sum or difference of a perfect square and another integer. Here I am going to split 11 as a sum of a perfect square and a non-perfect square. That is 9 and 2. Here 9 takes the place of B and 2 takes the place of C. 9 is a perfect square and a <coughs> Sorry, 9 is a perfect square and 2 is a non-perfect square. So, we are going to apply the formula. What is the formula? Root of b. Root of b means here root of 9. Plus c. c means it is 2 by 2 into root b. That is 2 into root b means again root 9. C. 11 is equal to 9 plus 2. So, the value of B is 9 and the value of C is 2. The formula is root of B plus or minus. If here we have plus, then we will use, the, use plus. If we have minus, then we will use minus. Root of 9 plus 2 divided by 2 into root 9. It is equal to root of 9, 3 plus 2 divided by 2 into root of 9 is 3. 2 and 2 will get cancelled. 1 is equal to 3 plus 1 by 3. It is equal to 3 plus 1 by 3 is 0 0.333 etc. So it is equal to 3.333 etc. and we we'll fix it as 3.33. C. C. Without long division method, we got the value of square root of 11. Let us consider another example. Root of 15. 15 is a non perfect square. Now I am going to split 15 as a difference of a perfect square and another integer. That is 16 minus 1. Here b is equal to 16 and c equal to 1. Using the formula root of 16 minus. Here we have minus 1 divided by 2 into root of 16. Root of 16 is equal to 4 minus 1 divided by 
2 into root of 16, 4. So it is equal to 4 minus 1 divided by 8. That's equal to 4 minus 0 0.125 is equal to 3.875. See, the square root of 50 is equal to 3.875. So, in this way, you can find the square root of any non-perfect squares. I hope all of you understood this method of finding the square root of a non-perfect square. If you practice this method, you will be able to find the square root of any non-perfect square within 10 seconds. Practice more and more questions. If you like my video, please press on like button and also share the video. If my channel is not subscribed, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.